Hello, my name is Robert Title. I am a developer for Rational Team Concert on the ClearCase Connectors component. Today I'm going to give a demo of the bridge between Rational ClearCase and Rational Team Concert. The bridge operates by creating links between ClearCase artifacts and RTC work items. These links can be navigated in either direction. The bridge allows a developer to use ClearCase for version control, but still take advantage of RTC features. Since work items are at the heart of RTC, the bridge allows ClearCase users to link their code to many areas of RTC. So I'm going to give a demo of how the bridge works, and also sh show some of the features within RTC that can be used with the bridge. The bridge is available in RTC version 2002 and ClearCase 7102. Here you see my RTC client. At the bottom there are a list of builds. RTC includes a build component with mechanisms for kicking off builds and viewing build results. For this demo, I have created a build definition that builds a Java project that is under source control in a clear case Bob. So you can see that the top build, top build has failed. The red X next to a build means it failed. The green check mark means that it passed. From here, I can open up the build result, and if I move to the JUnit tab, I can see the actual test that caused the build to fail. Now I want to open up a work item against this failing build. I can do that directly from the build result by right clicking on the failing test and saying create work item. Now the work item editor pops up and you'll notice that the summary and description areas are already filled in with information about the failing test. So I'll start editing fields of this new work item. Now as I'm doing this I want to show another feature of RTC which are Agile plans. Agile plans group work items together by iteration. The plans themselves are live Changes made to work items are automatically displayed in the plan, and work items can be edited directly from the plan. One way of viewing plans is My Work, which is open right here on the left. Now notice if I plan this work item for the current iteration, how it automatically appears in the My Work plan. So I'll save this new work item. Now my work shows you your current assignments in the current iteration. You can also view the plan for the entire team. So here are the planned work items for the whole team. This can be sorted in different ways by modifying the fields here on the right. And I'll also show how I can edit work items directly from this plan. So here is my new work item. I can change the priority. I can change I can give it a time estimate. And if I save the plan, the work item will automatically be saved. So now that I have an open work item, I want to actually fix this bug. So I'm going to close the plan in the work item to go back to the build result. Another thing I can do from a build result is if I double click on a failing test, I can get right to the code. Now I'll reiterate that this file is under clear case source control and I'm using CCRC right now. So here's the failing test. I want to fix it so I need to check out this file. I will create a new activity for the purposes of this demo. And click OK to check out the file. So now the file is checked out. So I'll fix the test error and check the file back in. Now I also have the clear case pending changes view open here, which I need to refresh. 
but this view will show me all outgoing changes I have in my stream, which should include the activity with the uh, change that we just made. And here it is. Now this is where the bridge really comes into play. Anywhere an activity object is displayed in CCRC, you can right click and there are three new menu options, associate work items, open work items, and remove work items. These menus allow you to manipulate associations between clear case activities and RTC work items. So in this case I want to associate a work item with this activity. So the select work items dialog pops up, which is the standard dialog you get in RTC when searching for a work item. I can search by ID or text for a work item, and I can also create a new work item directly from this dialog. It's also populated by default with work items that I recently viewed, which includes the one we just created. So I'm going to select that one and click OK. So now there is an association between this activity and our work item. I can view the association by right-clicking and selecting Open Work Items, which opens the associated work item. If I move to the Links tab, I can actually view the activity link and note that there's also a link to the build that this work item was reported against. So just to continue with this demo, I will close a few windows, and I want to actually deliver this activity that we just created. I will do that. And I will complete the delivery. So now that I've delivered this fix to the ClearCase integration stream, I'll move back to the builds view that we started in, and I'll kick off a new build, which should now pass because we, pick, because we fixed the bug. So the build takes a minute to complete. While we're waiting for it, I want to open up the failing build result from before, and I'll show you how I can navigate back to the ClearCase code change that I made. So here's the build result, and you'll see that there's a link to the work item that's open against this build. I can click that to open the work item. From the work item, I can go to the links tab and view the activity that's associated with this work item. And I can select the activity and open that. Which will open up the clear case change set view which is populated with the list of versions that were changed in this activity. From here, I can right-click on a version and do regular clear case operations, such as compare with predecessor, which will open up the compare view where I can see the code change that I made. So lastly, I will close this and go back to our builds view, refresh it, and we'll see that the new build has passed. So, that, so that's sort of a quick tour of RTC in the ClearCase bridge, showing different ways you can navigate back and forth between ClearCase and Rational Team Concert. Uh, that's all. Thank you.